Kia ora, hello, I'm Philip Duncan and thank you for joining us for our Monday weather update for May the 1st. How is it May already? Uh, taking a look at the animated wind map, you can certainly see the squash zone that is going on around the north of New Zealand. Uh, this was the temperature contrast at nine o'clock this morning. What a huge difference. 19 degrees in Auckland, one degree just inland from Dunedin. So a cold start in the south, a very warm start in the north, and the temperatures right across this week, well above normal uh, for this time of the year, especially the overnight temperatures. So there's a big high to the east near the Chatham Islands, this low pressure zone just off uh, Northland, and between the two, the windy squash zone, and that's sort of falling apart a little bit today but it comes back again Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and actually into the start of next week. So this is a slow, long-lasting event. Let's take a look at rainfall. Now, this is just for the next three days ahead. The next seven days ahead, many places are seeing over 100 millimetres. But for the next three days ahead, the only places likely to get over 100 millimetres, parts of Bay of Plenty, that rain band that's moving south today, kind of stops over Bay of Plenty before it starts to reverse back around about Wednesday. Typical squash zone where the high uh, out to our east expands a little bit and that sort of pushes the rain clouds back. But for the next three days, the heaviest rain will be in Bay of Plenty, where you're talking about 125 millimetres at least. And also up here around the Bay of Islands, still getting 70, 80 millimetres, not quite a month's worth of rain, but close to it. And then down here on the west coast, up to 200 millimetres or more. And we're also getting up to about 100 millimetres around the Takaka Hill and other parts of the Nelson Ranges. So that's a fair bit of rain. It is spread out over the next several days, but as you can see in the next three days, most of it's in Bay of Plenty, the west coast, and the northwest corner of the South Island. Temperature-wise, well, these are the departure from normal temperature maps. The numbers you see on the maps are the daytime highs, forecast for today, Monday, and forecast for tomorrow, Tuesday. Look at the 23s across the North Island. That's incredibly warm for May. Now, what you're seeing on this side with the key, how much warmer than average is it? So you're seeing that most places in red, that's four to eight degrees warmer than you should be. In some parts of the South Island, even over eight degrees warmer than they should be, thanks to this warm subtropical airflow. So on the map here, this is for Tuesday, look at this. Here is the big high. The high is getting bigger and stronger. So as it does that, it's like a lung and it sort of expands out. So as it expands, it pushes back against that rain cloud that's feeding into Bay of Plenty across the next 24 hours or so, which means as we go across the end of Tuesday, the high will push back and that rain there will start to slide back up towards Coromandel Peninsula, Northland and Auckland. But for Tuesday itself, plenty of dry spells for those areas after a very wet past couple of days. And this warm airflow right down across the country, even the South Island, if you're not getting the subtropical northerly, you're getting a westerly out of Australia, turning around as a nor'wester. Australia pretty settled at the moment, but unsettled for coastal parts of Victoria and around Tasmania. Now, as we get to Wednesday, still very unsettled in that corner of Australia, bit of a cold burst right up to about Melbourne. The rest of Australia mostly settled and dry. The tropics, lots of easterly winds and showers, and then that easterly wind curves down and into the North Island and the Upper South Island. More wind and rain, and with low pressure also down here in the Southern Ocean, connecting with Tasmania, that just means there's a lot of low pressure to the south, high pressure out here, so that squash zone kind of shifts around a bit on Wednesday, but you'll notice those windier conditions returning to some places where it might have been a little bit calmer on Tuesday. By Thursday, it's starting to feel like Groundhog Day, it's just very repetitive. Warm air flows out of the subtropics down over the North Island. The South Island also getting clipped again by subtropical air, and in Australia, mostly settled. It looks kind of stormy all around you, and it is, but over the land, mostly settled. So we end the working week with a cold front coming into Adelaide, Melbourne, and Hobart, and on the New Zealand side, a burst of rain, which could be quite heavy. I think this is worth keeping an eye on uh, because it's slow moving and it might be a bit thundery. Even if we don't necessarily get thunderstorms out of it, the cloud buildups will be very similar. So that can produce very heavy, slow moving downpours on the back end of the big high out to the east. So we go into the weekend, our final map, and just what a difference there is between, say, Auckland and Tauranga, Hamilton and uh, Whangarei in New Zealand versus 
let's say, Melbourne and Torquay, uh, Adelaide and Hobart, because you're in a more traditional autumn pattern, warm one day, cold the next. New Zealand warm every day this week. It doesn't stop. And it stays warm with these northeasterlies as we go through the weekend and maybe even by this time next week. So this is an unusually warm, long spell for New Zealand with about a month's worth of rain, if not more, falling in some places over the next few days. But it is spread out. But like I say, those thundery sort of uh, downpours here around Friday, Saturday, well worth keeping an eye on. Very hit and miss, but worth keeping an eye on. So there we go, quite a bit to talk about this week. I'll be back again on Tuesday with the next update. And by the way, before I go today, our next Climate Watch update, that is out this afternoon, and we'll cover the month of May, and also a sneak peek as we head towards winter and a building El Nino. That's all from me for today. Stay dry, and we'll see you tomorrow.